I am about to share an exquisite album with you. It is full of items from the 1800s. The back of the book says 1883. The book is so fragile and you could just see how it's worn and and the pages have all fallen apart. But I have to share with you what's inside. And look at just little pieces of paper just falling. It's all just really brittle. But I have to share what's inside. This is my mom's and she wanted me to do something with it. Sell it or we're not sure. Um, and I thought maybe make printables with these the items in here. unbelievable like this is old Heinz advertisements and almost everything is glued down I mean look at this little girl oh, how sweet is she she's from a fragrant uh, company E.W. Hoyt and company So I believe most of the items are advertisements or old postcards. There's some calling cards in here. Okay, I had to stop the video for a second and we're gonna continue. And so these are like calling cards, but they're like super brittle. This says friendship. And I've seen the name Maggie Ryder through here a lot. Um, children's um, cough syrup and teething soup. I guess it's uh, children's teething syrup. Mrs. Winslow's. I mean. Just incredible. I think we've seen this side already. And here is Maggie Ryder's name again. I love this hand with the roses. Muzzy's cornstarch. Hope I'm not making you dizzy by moving all this stuff around. But I just thought like seeing it up close. And this is an advertisement from Lion Coffee. And I did see that through the book quite regularly. Again, these are from the 1800s. I just touched the paper and it's just brittle. It just breaks off. She's adorable. I mean, just amazing. Again, this is Lion's Coffee. This looks like just an old postcard or card. This says, Think of Me. Uh, Burdock. Blood bitters. Not sure what that is. Burdock blood bitters. Can't say that three times fast. <laughs> this is called uh, white laundry soap. The first step. Over here is Lion's Coffee again. And then something's fallen off, but I do have some things to the side. I believe that this was there. And this lifts up. I gotta be very gentle with it. This person's name is Lily. Can't make out the last name very well. 
Maggie L. Ryder. His name's through here a bunch. I looked her up online. And I think I need to further investigate. But look at that rose. So I thought I could make printables with these, but I have to be very careful. Everything's so fragile in here. Again, Lion Coffee. This is a card. Just look at it all. Stuff you dream of. I would just love to meet this woman back in the 1800s. Wow. The person who put this scrapbook together. Something. And I love the dogs. Around here. The hat with the roses, I mean, it's incredible. And the way they dressed. Some stuff lifted up, and this might be one. As for example, I showed it on my Instagram. This woman was in here, and it's an advertisement for shields, Canfield shields. They, they would wear under their armpits so their clothing did not get uh, messed up. Camfield dress shields are a necessity, except no other. But isn't that amazing how she opens up? Like almost like a paper doll, but I feel like these have lines and like they might have opened up at one time, but they're glued down. Just beautiful things. So as you could see how brittle the pages were and how things fell out. All the vibrant colors are just amazing. And so, yep, there's those little pieces of paper. I mean, this is funny, it looks like he fell in the snow and there's just water dripping from everything and the birds i mean it's amazing stuff i have to be so gentle but i had to share them So this is Fort Wayne Organ Company, and it's glued down, but I want to see, I'm sure there's advertisements on the back of there, but I'm afraid to lift anything up. For those of you who like owls. Look how bright the colors are. An oyster shell. And the texture of these are incredible too. Oh, it's just so brittle. But gorgeous. So this I posted on my Instagram for Easter. The little boy hiding the eggs. This looks like a Hoyt's German Cologne advertisement. That's just paper over her. Little bits of paper. Again, the Lion Coffee. That's in here a lot. This is a page that fell out on second. Captain. Don't 
Just letting you take it all in. <laughs> so the back I could see is an advertisement for something, but I'm not sure. And did it come out of a newspaper? I'm not sure. And this is Elizabeth Ryder. This is Daisy on it. I mean, to make printables with these beautiful roses. I mean, how gorgeous will they be? Wow. Cereal products. And there's that same print again. Uh, mirror gloss starch, Buffalo, New York. Okay, so this is something that fell out. She's gorgeous. And these look like old cards. I love the Christmas wishes. This is a souvenir. Bright flowers. I mean, happy morning. But there's that gorgeous rose again. Turn this around. This is an advertisement for garland stove ranges. I don't even know if they're in business anymore. But see how this, oh, I'm just covered with this paper that's just breaking off. And I guess these are generals, we're gonna guess. By the Broadhead Dress Goods from Jamestown, New York. I mean, they're exquisite. And so the books dated 18, did I say 83 or 93? But I mean, some of these could be older than that. It's just what the books dated, I'm not sure. There's some for borax, advertisement for borax soap. The roses are gorgeous and more gorgeous roses. Huh. I wanted to see if there was anything behind there. This is Hire's Root Beer advertisement, and I've seen that in here several times too. Okay, so some of the, I gotta get some of these papers off of here. I mean, I'm just afraid to touch the stuff. Lily Hale is in here, and Maggie Ryder, the calling cards. Oh, and their heads are missing, probably because they were brittle and just fell off. I looked her up, Annie Pixley, and uh, she was an actress. I don't know details on her. I just looked her up quickly. This card says, forget me not. With fond love to thee. I love how that just looks like it's breaking open. It's just amazing stuff. And if anybody has insight on any of this, I would welcome it. I would love to hear your comments. Um, 
This is a company from Niles, Ohio. Dalezell and Company, dry goods, clothing, and grocery. It's an advertisement. Easter greetings. Welcome the new year. Easter offering. I wonder if that was like an Easter offering envelope that was just glued on here. I just wish I knew the history behind it and the person who took the time to put this in the scrapbook. I would love to know more about her. I might have to do some more research. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. I'm gonna try to keep them still, but I can't. <laughs> we study to please. Not sure what that's for. Huh. Henry Rider. So this is a Maggie Rider. This is Henry Henry Rider calling card. And here's the Hoyt um, Cologne fragrance listed again. Men's fine furnishing goods from uh, Wheeling, West Virginia. Wow. Scissor Company, Warranty Unlimited. Just wanna know the stories behind everything. Okay, so this one is one that lifted up too, and I can't lift it up because it was glued down. And it's probably that Shields um, company again. But you could feel how it's raised and that it lifted up at one time, even the skirt. So I feel like the whole thing lifted. Oh, so as I turn this, this lifted. That's Maggie Ryder again. Delzell Dry Goods again. Reynolds Brothers Fine Shoes in New York. A lot of this stuff are advertisements from uh, New York. Reynolds Brothers advertisements. Did we look at that side? Yes, we did. Here's the Hires Root Beer again. I love this. She's reading a book to her dolls before bed, evidently. A lovely Christmas offering to you. So I wonder if this was an offering envelope. Lion Coffee again. Lily Hale, Lizzie Ryder, calling cards. Some of the cards I got off and I'll show you. But when I took it off, it put a hole in it. So, oh my gosh, I was afraid to take any off of here. But I just had to share these fun things and I would love any input from anybody. This is about the zoo. J.B. Crabs Medicated Cough Drops. Another advertisement. So I'm wondering if the owner clipped these, in, you know, from magazines or newspapers and put them in here. Hires root beer again. The rose in the hand is gorgeous. Oh, so that's the same girl on that side as this side. Okay, I thought I was losing my mind at first. And this little girl playing with her toys and her dog sitting next to her. Globe fittings, cors corsets. Wow. 
this was in here, but it doesn't look like it goes with the rest of the book. It's a different theme. But I'm sure there's a story behind it. And this is the inside of the back cover. Here's all the brittle pieces. And these are items that have fallen out or come out. That's a calling card. Um, this was a Heinz, this was here. Heinz advertisement, tomato soup. And on the back, it talks about the baked beans with the tomato soup. This person came out of there. Um, you know what? We're just going to close this book. And I'll show you the back again where it says 1883. I don't know if you could see that. And here's one of the first things that I showed you. And this was in there too. That was in there. She was in there and she's broken apart. And I think she says something about coffee. And so her arm extends a little bit, but she's broken. Oh yeah, and the back says McLaugh's coffee. And that was in there. How pretty is that? Forget me not. That one. I mean, can you imagine the printables I can make from these? So is, if anyone has any information about the items that I've showed in here, I would love to hear from this exquisite book. Oh. I'm glad I could share it with you. If we can only know Maggie Ryder, I want to guess she's the one that put it together. Awesome. Thanks for coming by my channel and please subscribe so I could share some fun vintage things in the future with you. All right.